Hello, and welcome to another Chris Pointer. So, a lot of you have asked me, how do I string together bar muscle-ups? I can do one, but I don't know how to go about doing the next one. So, I figured, why not make a Pierce Pointer about it? How to string together bar muscle-ups. So, you've got your first one, and you're like, what do I do? So, I always think the second one is easier than the first one. You have to get that nice big hip swing on the first one. When you have the second one, then you can use the momentum from the top of the bar to come down and get your second one. So actually, this kind of relates to me because in my first CrossFit Games, I couldn't get my first bar muscle up. Well, not the first one, but in a workout, that like I couldn't get up and get the first one done. I, I honestly thought about doing a pullover just so I could get on top of the bar and then get into the second one. So I hadn't quite mastered the kit into the first one under fatigue, so I just wanted to rely on being able to get up there and do that. But I ended up just being a little patient, taking a little more rest, focusing on my hip swing, and I was able to then get the rest of my muscle ups and finish the workout. So similar to the first part muscle up, you, in the second you are gonna come down, you're gonna have that nice hollow, get in that big arch, that big kit, right back to that hollow, pop up the same way. So where it gets a little tricky is when you're coming down, you have to almost push away from the bar a little bit as you're in your hollow. Then as you come down, you're gonna still do that nice big kick swing and then come back in the front. So what a couple of muscle ups will look like. Jump up, then nice hollow arch, hollow, and then going down, you're not notice that I go into the hollow as I push myself away and then go right back up into that next one. I will do one more so you can see it. Watch my hollow as I come down and push the bar away and then go into my arch position with that nice kick. So that hollow, arch, hollow, right back up to that support position on the top. A lot of times people just like drop straight down and they're trying to kick their legs back behind them too quickly. You can't rush it. As you come down, you gotta lean your shoulders back as your feet come in front of you to get that nice hollow, similar to that kick position that we've talked about before. So that hollow, then we're going to our arch, and then right back to our hollow, and do that second muscle up, very similar to what you do in your first. So as you come down, some people prefer at the beginning to kind of lower themselves and then go into it just because they're afraid of heights, they're afraid something's gonna happen to their shoulder, on the way down, maybe they're just a little tentative, like grip and think it might slip. That's totally understandable when it is something new and you're like, I'm coming all the way from the top and then I have to come all the way down underneath. That's a lot of pressure, a lot of momentum that's coming down. So one way that you can do it, like I said, you can slowly lower yourself to that dip and then kind of come down from there, which isn't as efficient as coming from the top because you don't have as much speed and as much power, but if it's one way to help teach you how to do your first muscle up into your second, then give it a try. As you get a little more comfortable, then you can advance it and you can get a little bit more crazier, I guess. So you can have a little bit more speed. So what that would look like, like I said, from like dipping down a little bit is that nice first bar muscle up. Then, like I said, you might dip down a little bit just to slow it down, still that hollow arch, hollow into that muscle. It just takes a little bit of the speed out of it so you don't get quite as much transfer. You might not, you might fatigue a little bit faster, but if you're learning it, it's a great way to learn it and slowly introduce doing your second bar muscle up. So, main thing to take away, if you are trying to learn a couple bar muscle ups in a row, you have one, don't know how to connect it, come down, make sure when you're in that, when you're coming down, you're in that hollow, you're leaning back a little bit, and then as you come down, you're going right into that arch position and that wonderful kick, and then you're still nice and aggressive, pulling those feet forward, using that core, pulling that bar down with your lats, sitting up nice and aggressively over the bar so that you can get that second bar muscle up and be able to string them together, which obviously if you can string them together, you're gonna be a lot more efficient than if you're doing singles. It's gonna be a lot faster, and in the long run, it's gonna be a lot less tiring. So give those a try, try those, out those tips. Hopefully they help you string together a couple of our muscle ups. Good luck.